hello friends now in this video we are going to uh, generate report of this uh, purchase so uh, you know in last time we are generating this form and now you can see here this print button but we need to generate one more form to generate report right click here then add new item and we are going to take windows form and in last time uh, we create one uh, crystal report uh, the name was generate bill so here also we are going to use the name generate underscore purchase underscore report and now in this report i am going to add crystal report viewer so i am going to take this crystal report viewer now i am going to take one data set so add new item and i am going to take one data set data set 3 now add here you can see this is the data set now here i am going to add new data table and in this data table we need to add fields which fields we want in crystal report here you have to press control s so you can write here we need product name so i am going to take here product name then again control l product uty product price product total and now i am going to take purchase party name if you want more more field then you can take here but right now i need this field so i am going to take only this field now i am going to press control s so yeah now i am going to add new crystal report so add new item and here i am going to take crystal report the name is crystal report 3 now add we have to wait here is a blend report okay yeah so you can see here this report now we are right click database at spot here we need data set 3 data set 3 data table 1 then okay and now you can see our old field now i am going to take here product name product quantity product price product total and year product party name and we need to add here one total also so here parameterized field new here total string and okay so i am going to take here total rules so we have this report is ready now we need to start our code so before starting code here we need to pass one variable to another page so here i am going to take one variable string query we have to wait so here we are going to take 
one variable string query and in this query we are going to save this I will explain you why we are going to save this because we need to pass this query in second page then and then also we can uh, find that which query we, pa we pass in this page that's why we need to pass this in next page now here also we need to pass now our added one page is deleted that's why i need to add one more you don't need to add now this generate underscore purchase underscore report you already did this you don't need to did this because uh, my system is hang in between some problem in this listed report that's why so you have already this so you don't need to do anything oh yeah so now in this page yeah now you have to do this here and you need to copy this copy paste here string j here string i and j is equal to i yeah so now here generate purchase report gpr is equal to new generate purchase report gpr dot get value and here we need to pass query dot to string and gpr dot show so we pass this string this query value and we are getting that query value over here in this j variable now here we need to do database connectivity using system.data.sql client and here copy you can copy this from any other page here paste <coughs> and now we need to do database connectivity here so first of all if cn dot state is equal is equal to connection state dot open then connection close and then i need to connection open and now i only create code for this list report so copy and just paste here we need to change your data set 3 here we need to pass our variable j then why we ordered data set 3 yeah we have this data set 3 
now here we pass query data table data table now ds dot data table one then tot is equal to zero now data row dr in dt dot rows here dr total dot to string and here i need to declare integer tot is equal to zero now we have this list ready for three so at least ready for three and then this total and then list ready for viewer i need to check the list ready for viewer name so here property is list ready for viewer one okay so list ready for viewer one yeah so everything is okay now we are going to check it is working proper or not all product now i am going to press print yeah you can see this all value but here we are getting minor problem we are going to check for each data row dr here d dot fill dt now again we are going to run why this error column total does not belong to the table yeah we need to change our column name Our column name is product underscore total. Okay. Print. <coughs> now you can see we get here total also. Now we are going to check between value. Uh, I think we are going to pass here November fifteen. To November seventeen, so we get only one record, and now I am going to press this print button. Yeah, you can see I get only one record between the date range. So this way we can create this type of report. But in last video, I forgot to give link in this in MDA form. So here we are going to give link. Yeah. Purchase report. PR is equal to new purchase report. Then PR dot show. And now here in program dot CS, we are going to make this login as a startup. And now we are going to check. yeah you can see this so this way we can create purchase report inside this inventory management system thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much adrian